girls like the sound of some um, country guy singing voice. <laughs> I am on my way to shop for some greens. And I had somebody say to me the other day, you know, don't you find it to be a pain that you're constantly having to go by the store and you're constantly, you know, Tanya, I just don't want to fool with that. I'll tell you what I think is a pain. I think it's a pain, um, you know, not thinking about stuff like rotating my greens and, and how to make the most of every dollar when I buy my power punch of, of nutrient dense plant food. That's not a pain. What's a pain is when you can't button your pants and you can't breathe for the muffin top hanging over your the button on your pants you know what's a pain is when you can't function in your your everyday job because you're like you feel like you're doped up from food what's a pain is when you have road rage because the toxins in your body are so built up and so strong you can't hardly tolerate to drive down the road because the other idiots won't get the heck out of the way right What's a pain is when you have to go and sit through the drive through again and again and you're never full and you're paying too much for the food that's not has no nutrition. You know, your body's starving and your brain's starving, but yet you can't fit your clothes. That's a pain. Not shopping for greens. So, we're on our way to shop for some greens and I wanted to say that... You know, when you're trying to afford your plant food, this is not an issue for everyone. I, I come in contact with people sometimes that, like, they don't even have to think about this. It's quite a shocker to me because I'm constantly trying to do it on the shimmy, you know, on the, on the shoestring budget, which, you know, in a way I think it's good because even if I have extra dollars, I don't want to waste them. I, I got something else I want to buy, you know, or I want to buy my, my grandbaby something or my little girl something or, or Christopher or, you know, just something else I don't want to have to pay more than I need to for anything at any given time I don't waste a penny so you know talking about when you're going to buy I always I don't mind buying greens that I, I need to eat today I don't want to buy them limp or wilty I want them to have all their vital force but you know if you keep your eye out you can start to tune in on how to get your greens at a better price um, you know, buying them in bulk, rotating them by buying like two in bulk, switching them up, and then in a couple of days buying a different kind in bulk. Another thing is about the organic. You know, I have kind of a price point that's my, my breaker point on the organic. I I usually like to buy local from the farmer's market and that, and I think I do a little better like that. I try to buy the Dirty Dozen um, in organic when I can because certain pesticides, they really bother me. They I can tell if I eat them, I'll have body aches and pains, and the, the more clean and pure you become on this lifestyle, the more external toxins are going to bother you, you know, and some people may think, oh, well, that's a bad thing, you know, you can't hardly live in this world. Yes, I am. I'm just aware of the toxins coming into my body where the majority of people are so sludged down. Um, it's like a, a smoker that smokes all the time. They don't recognize the poison being ingested in their lungs and body because their body's desensitized to it. Though if someone's smoking next to me in the booth, I, I can't breathe, you know? My body starts to try to repel that because I'm not used to it. So it's like that with the toxins in food or the poisons in toys that we call food. Um, processed food, you know, when you get off of just the vegan junk food like the, the processed soy and the all these things that are, are great fillers and they're great transitions but the less and less you start eating that of that and the more of fresh whole ripe raw fruits and vegetables you are going to even see the difference so back to the organics I have kind of a price point on that like a cutoff like um you know for example you know if the watermelon and if it's organic and I was going to juice it, then I would, might could juice the rind too. I don't have to do that. I'm not necessarily, I'm usually not going to juice that anymore anyway. Um, I would have it in a, with a smoothie. Um, or basically, I would just eat watermelon and I'm not just going to sit there and eat the rind, you know. Um, the thing is, if the regular is 49 cents a pound and the organic is 2.49 a pound, I'm not going to pay that difference. That's robbery to me because I I have to consume a lot of plant food, you know? So just keep that in mind. I mean, don't feel bad if you can't buy all organic. Don't just think, "Well, fruited, I can't eat that lifestyle." Yes, you can. I do it every day and 
I have staples that I buy. I know what to get. Um, I may be coming to y'all with like a, a list of what you, what ingredients and things you would buy to have like a seven day meal plan. Would that be helpful for people? Um, you know, another thing, there's a lot of studies out, you know, so many studies now about how plant food decreases all kind of diseases. You know, and most of those studies are done on regular produce, not even organic. So keep that in mind. Don't go back to that mindset of, um, well, if I can't eat all organic, I'm not going to eat any. That makes no sense to me, but I hear that from people, you know. I mean, I might pay about 25% more possibly for kale or different things like that definitely for celery because that's something that I can really detect the pesticides on peaches these things that that you eat the skin on um, definitely I try to go with organic you know or I try to peel them if I don't have organic um, what else oh yes when you're buying greens too you know, you want to get a wide variety of greens, but some greens are going to be more pungent than others. Like, for example, um, mustard greens. Mustard greens have a whole um, nutritional profile, though, that other greens may not have. This is why we want to rotate. Though, what I do is instead of making a whole smoothie or a whole salad with mustard greens, that's going to be really pungent and strong. Um, I do like spicy, but it's a little too much, so what I would do is I would cut the flavor of that in my smoothie with spinach or like Swiss chard, something mild. Um, you know, like I say, arugula is a little more pungent, so keep that in mind. Dandelion greens, which have great diuretic properties, um, again, a little strong, you know, also with the cilantro and things like that. Um, but you know, the thing is, if you, you may say, you know, I don't like the taste of greens. I hear people say that I don't like salad. Get on board with liking how you look and feel and liking that you feel like you're growing younger every day. You know, tipping on back makes you feel good. Drink more greens than you even think you should, right? <laughs> so anyway, um, you know, greens are the elixir of life, the fountain of youth, so to speak. And I don't mean like they eat them around here, like they take their collard greens and they fry them up in some, um, some fat back, you know? That's what people do around here. You can actually go in the grocery store and buy fat back, and I see people buy it all the time. And you kind of think, are you for real? People don't know. So we've got lots of choices of other greens. I try to look at the price, of course, if I can get the organic in the mustard greens, then I'm gonna go with that, you know, and I'm gonna cut the flavor, and I'm gonna put them into, I can also put them into like a V8 style smoothie. You know, all the things you would think about vegetables blended together, and it really cuts the taste of um, pungent greens quite nicely. Also, if I buy a lot of greens and they're on sale, you can freeze greens. I don't know if y'all realize this, but you just freeze them in your freezer bags, you know, cut them just like you would want to use them in your soup sauces and smoothies and go ahead and freeze them. Yes, it does take down the nutrition of that a little bit. Like they say 20 to 30%. I don't know how accurate that is, but the thing is you're not wasting those and you can use those in soups and smoothies later. You're not gonna get those out and use them in a salad. That's not gonna work when you defrost them, but it is going to work in, in the smoothies and you can save yourself a lot of time and money like that and in the winter when you think I can't do it I can't find the stuff yes you can if you want to do it you can do it so don't throw those away you know also these other things like um, carrot tops beet tops there's so much more nutrition in the beet tops than the beet um, root itself it's incredible we're, we're throwing these things in the trash can I don't think so I'm drinking them you know dang I need gas what is the deal with the gas you know <laughs> so I might take y'all in the store and we'll do a little shopping would you like that <laughs> Back in them woods. Back in the woods on the dirt road. So we do it, and we do it all night. <laughs> so if you really want to know how it feels to get off the road, trucks and four wheels, jump on in and man.